I watched McCulloch. It was it was on in the evening time here on a Saturday Saturday night, and um, I, I was watching alone in the in the living room. Um, I think the the kids were being put to bed at the time, and um, I think as I realised, a she was going to run in the frame, and then b the moment that I realised she's going to win. I think the kids got quite a fright because um, they didn't realise why why daddy was making such weird noises in the in the living room. And <laughs> <laughs> so it was just it was raw emotion and I, I feel it now just it, it, it's what we get up for every day of the week for the the following week i was still processing the mcculloch victory and an italian came along um seven days later so i was absolutely on the canvas emotionally i think naturally as, as a consigner i'm full of trepidation before the sale and and uh being full of confidence is not something that comes naturally as a consigner because we're, we're obviously trying to do our best for, for, for the vendors and for our clients. But when you're on the ground at Tattersalls and you see the representatives from around the world coming one after one, you know, it's, it's a procession of the who's who of the Bloodstock game internationally. It's so exciting to be part of it and we're very proud to be hopefully sort of front and centre in some parts of it. Through the Tattersalls ring we, we see these um, magnificent yearlings being distributed around the world essentially. To see what we produce here go on and, and, and achieve at, at, at the top level in, in, in this year's case, that is what it's all about. We're having a good season on, on the track uh, on both sides of the Atlantic. We had unbelievably two grade one winners in July in, in, in the States as you know and We've, had, we've seen Hans Andersen um, run second in the Group 2 Futurity in Ireland. McCulloch was very straightforward to prepare for sale, um, as most of the good ones are. Um, yeah, she, she wasn't the biggest filly in the world. Estrella's not the biggest mare in the world, but my goodness, she put some enormous engines into them. The Calix filly out of Estrella this year is, will be retained. The Pinatubo out of Estrell Philly foal this year. Plans are fluid. We, we don't yet know what's going to happen. She may be retained. She may go to sale. There's lots of time to think about it. The Hazelwood Bloodstock Tattersall's Book 1 draft this year is, is of, from our point of view, in, incomparable strength. We have four Dubawis, which is quite, quite amazing. Three colts, three beautiful colts, and, and, and a smashing filly from the family of Barney Roy, a first foal from the mare. We have a Frankel Colt who is um, a full brother to the aforementioned Hans Anderson. All in all, I mean, it's, it's, it's I think anyway, I'm, I'm very proud to present this draft. They're a strong bunch of horses on paper and on type. I'm not sure that there's ever been a stronger stallion roster in or around the new market area than there is at the moment. I'm very happy to be corrected on that, but we have the superstars, we have Dubawi, we have Frankel, we have Kingman, we have a plethora of young stallions coming through that could continue that, um, the, the, the strength and depth. Uh, so therefore, our international clients are very keen to have mares in this part of the world, to breed to these stallions on our doorstep and produce uh, horses that are, have international appeal, I mean, all around the world.